Let's uh, run around here. the ramp out of here as well. I have to unfold it. And unfold. That one. Oh, I have to start the engine to unfold it. That's awesome. Then turn the engine off. That out of the way. So these um, belts didn't save us anything in speed terms over the operating capabilities of the auger that we had, which is a shame. These are desperately slow. However, my plans going forward are, um, or at least for the immediate future, is I'm not going to be going all out trying to sell stuff in one go. It'll probably take me two or three days to get the silage sold while I'm doing other things on the farm. At least that's the idea. Okay, let's go get the little orange tractor because it's orange. And cheap to run, most importantly. Oh, that's got 42 hours. We have been racking up the hours on this thing too. Okay. We'll check, but I'm pretty sure that that's scary amount of money seller that I borrowed. Okay, which are our fields? Ah, okay. So seventy five hundred have crops in and I rolled that one. I haven't rolled that one or that one, so we have to go out and do that. That's what I wanted to make sure about. We have a nice big roller and a nice small tractor that's able to pull it most of the time. That field looks decidedly um, untidy, so we're going to be able to see where we've been with the roller as we're going over it. That's a good thing. This is all going to look nice and pretty when we're done. And again here I do not have GPS. It would be nice to be able to run this with GPS. Yes, I could run it with a worker, but i got nothing better to do, so... as well do this as anybody else. So I'm up on, what's it, I'm up over 40 hours on Railroader and the last session I finished I did not have enough room at the East Whittier interchange to drop off every single car that needed to be dropped there, which was 
was a little unfortunate. And I need to, uh, they still haven't uh, fixed, uh, cleaned out the vents on my uh, PC fans. It's going to be an issue for the next couple of days. I might have a chance to do it on Sunday, since I don't stream on Sunday. Now this might be an issue. This tractor does have the horsepower to run this implement, but... I'm not sure it has the horsepower to run the implement and a hill. So we're about to uh, investigate that little issue. Uh, did we get the corner loaded? Okay. We'll let this roll back into the corner. Okay. Go, go, go. really seeing a lot of slippage here. That front wheel, don't know. But I think for the most part there's not a traction problem, this is just horsepower. Or maybe I'll clean the vents on my PC this afternoon. There we go, now we're on the flat. We can actually roll this thing. Let the dust settle and we didn't quite make up the corner. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, come on, go. Well, I've also just noticed I could probably do with the tank of diesel here as well. A slight incline there as well. Oh, I'm about to uh, start missing parts. There we go. Let's try and keep as straight a line as possible. We're heading 90, so we will make sure we do that. Two reasons for doing this. One is it stops the field being blue when you look at it in the map. Although you can turn off the needs roll state reporting on the map. And two, it does give us a very small yield bonus. Okay, 270-ish. Now this one I've got pretty much on the edge of where it actually needs to be. I want to be careful I don't drift south or north from here. And then for the most part, so long as I keep going across the field, I think we should be okay. Oh. And 
how's that going to look? Actually, not bad. So there's going to be small triangles towards the field entrance, and I can get those as we depart. Fan noise is getting annoying. It doesn't take that long to get the uh, the uh, vents cleaned. It's just annoying. So I have to crawl down in the corner to uh, get at the PC itself. Closer to 270. There you go. And we need to have this done by 4 o'clock because that's when the rain happens. And I'm not sure the rain and the roller is going to mix too well. Just a thought. So, we don't know what's happening to the kids this weekend. Um, they may be up with Grandma. Um, we haven't heard anything. I did point out to Mrs. Osa yesterday that because I'm not working, she's not schooling uh, teenage Osa, um, there's little need for us to wait till Friday night to pick them up. As I said, we don't know if they're in the area or up with Grandma. Okay, that's 89.2, close enough. should be able to do. I can ignore that bit. I'll do a loop around and just do this lower area of the field, northern part of the field, northeast part of the field, and uh, we'll get all of the bits I've missed on the way back to the entrance of the field. Close enough. And this is something I used to do before I taught myself how to use the GPS that was available in FarmSim 17. Um, there was a mod that put the, the angle that you're driving at at the top of the screen. And so what I ended up doing was that's top and center and very easy to find. Um, I complained about it not being available in Farm Sim 19, but um, yeah, it is what it is because by that point Giants had moved the compass heading onto the mini-map but it's, it's white on a, a 
non-uniform coloured background. The advantage with the compass heading at the top of the screen mod was it was on a black white on a black background, so it was easy to read no matter what was going on around it. And I do like the changes that the um, additional um, information modder has done. Um, one of the things was he fixed the um, the date apparently. So we're going to have to wait till next year to find out if October still reports as November. However. Um, I don't need to make it garish orange um, because he's put a background in so I can now do a white on black background to see the date and time. Also looks like the, uh, uh, the font is a little better. Come on, you can do this. This tractor is not happy on this hill. Maybe I spoke too soon about it being okay with the... Uh, if I kept going laterally across the field. to this end of the field, I will also try and nab that bit there. Because OCD Farmer says, I gotta get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, did I? Oh, I think. To that. Oh, I didn't get that side. Okay. So, not entirely the most ideal tractor to do this with. Um, it is struggling at some points, but it's cheaper than the others, so I'm going to stick with it. on this one so again it's it's struggling with maintenance needs go go keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going yay Okay, now it's time for high speed rolling as best we can. Try and keep the speed up so that uh, we can climb that hill. Lower, lower, lower. I don't want to have to slow down. I had to slow down and stop. Oh well. Hopefully we can swing this though. Seven, eight. Go, go, tractor. Now, climbing out of this hole is going to be struggle, but so long as I keep the power on, it 
doesn't seem like we're struggling too badly. doing the, the planting um, in these three cornfields um, one of the issues I did have was getting out of this field and turning left to go to the southernmost field on our farm and it's what I've been doing most of the time when I'm in this field we're coming out with a large um, forage car and so um, I want to make the left turn and get back to the yard in the most efficient way possible. With the planter it occurred to me, actually I don't have to go back to the yard first. Um, let's see if we can get this straight to the edge. And done. Fold it. <coughs> if I go straight down that path in front of me, can take easy turns into the final field and I don't have to do a u-turn with the planter that is oh, look I missed that tiny bit there oh well never mind um, yeah I didn't have to do a 180 degree turn to get in so there was no maneuvering to get out of that field um, we can just follow down here with our huge long planter and uh, not be too badly um, troubled. And then round here, if we go straight down here, the field I want to get into is directly opposite. So no tight manoeuvring, no reversing, no nothing. So planting and seeding is not a difficult thing here. Obviously collecting forages because um, I need to go to the yard. I'm not going between fields when I'm collecting forage. Okay. Oops, don't drink and drive. Folded again. So if I put lower, see it doesn't come up with a message to say you can't lower the attachment until you've unfolded it. Because that's a this is a base game piece of equipment and that's a DLC um, convenience. I think they introduced it on the horse aggravation stuff where you actually have to go through the steps to unfold, lower, turn on. You can't, uh, where, whereas base game stuff, if you turn something on, it will unfold lower and uh, go. You just have to wait for it to do all the things. And I'm guessing Farm Sim 25, that's going to be a requirement. Oh, missed. This one is not as steep. I'm pretty sure it's not as steep. Looks fairly flat to me. Now, I've been quite lucky with rollers, both on uh, Maypole and this farm. Um, there is this is a base game piece of equipment normally, but this one is modded so you can um, change the rollers on it to mulching rollers and um, mulching rollers and grass field rollers. We're using precision farming so grass field rollers don't work. 
or don't provide any benefit. But um, it's nice to be able to just buy one expensive piece of equipment and then um, a, you know, change the rollers on it to achieve different tasks. Now, the thing is with that, oh, that's not going to work. Both games, I, I don't usually get rollers early on. I see them as quite a frivolous cost for the benefit they provide. You know, a couple of percent yield increase. As you get more fields, it makes more sense to uh, have these because they're benefiting, you know, a couple of percent yield increase on every field you have. Um, and so the relative cost of the benefit that they're providing is that much more justifiable but when they come up in a sale yeah I'm gonna buy this in a sale at half price or thereabouts um, same is true with uh, stone pickers I generally don't play with stones because for the most part actually I want to take a look at that corner looks like we hit it okay um, the issue 